Investigators are looking for the cause of an overnight fire in Sular. This is a video that you can see right here of that fire. Our viewer sending us this video that started around 1030 this fire near Gravoy and Allen in St. Louis. Our Damon Arnold was there and got the details from the fire chief. I'm here at Gravoy and Allen and it took a lot of firefighters to put the fire out that happened at this church overnight. You can see some of the damage sustained to the roof as well as the steeple here showing you just how intense those flames were. Now, I want to take you to the scene overnight. This was what our crew stumbled upon. The original call came out around 1030 last night, making its way up to a two alarm fire where 65 firefighters worked their way in and around the building to get the fire contained. Now the church is currently being used as a creative services or creative art center. We're told by the fire department that the person that was leasing the space was working on tables and old furniture yesterday. Right now, Fire Chief Dennis Jenkerson believes that the preliminary calls for the fire may be linked to some rags that had mold and linseed oil on them. Linseed oil can burn without any spark, meaning there may have been spontaneous combustion, which led to this fire. And also the new layout here at this church was just one of the many difficulties faced last night when trying to extinguish it. Probably the biggest obstacle when you get into buildings like this is most of them have been repurposed. So the original layout of the inside of the building of the church has been changed. There's also a parsonage attached to the back side of it. So we made entry into there and also brought hand lines into that area protecting or keeping the fire from travel, traveling to the back. Made sure that we had some fire doors closed and didn't lose the back side of it as well. We know that owners as well as the person that's leasing is probably going to have to get some cleanup efforts underway to pick up this debris that's been left behind after that fire that happened last night. And of course, we're going to work to continue to figure out what the exact cause of that fire is. I've been Sular, Damon Arnold, News 4.